What's going on? This is Keanu Trades, Ryan, whatever you want to call me. Um, this is yesterday, all right? So yesterday, this opening piece here, this is the 200 moving average, all right? Here are my studies, okay? So I have the 200 moving average here. See how it's like yellow? I want to be able to see that. Um, so we bounced here. One, two, three, right? And we had some strength over this doji. I'm just talking about just that candle right there. All right, let me see if I could zoom in on that. Yeah, look at that. So this candle body is what I'm talking about. Um, so it looks kind of ridiculous like that. But um, we had this hammer, right? Um, and I was looking for calls here based off of this opening action, okay? And so when I'm looking for this opening action, I'm, again, this is yesterday, uh, Friday, or yesterday's Friday. So we get kind of this here and this here, okay? So let's go to like the three minute to see zoomed in, okay? So something like that, okay? That's not really helpful. Maybe the one minute. There we go. So I can kind of see um, the charting um, in real time because I see how the five minute candle is developing. Let's go back to the five minute. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so that's a three minute candle, right? So it's going three, six, nine, 12, uh, 15. So that's two candles, right? Two five minute, three five minute candles, excuse me. Um, so I'm just trying to zoom in and that's all that we're doing is zooming in okay so we get that kind of start there and I'm looking at this as support okay um, so I'm looking for different pre-market levels to hold right all of this is like kind of holding um, look at how many times we touched it right I'm just looking at that okay um, so I don't do this very much so I apologize let me remove old drawings older than one day there we go okay that didn't really help okay so yeah i am looking at this don't worry about the falling wedge i wasn't like this is a falling wedge but what i was looking for is these wicks okay and like we saw in the three minute um that's what was happening um, so that's happening in real time. I will get the replay on trading view if I can, but, um, oh, this is, this is today. Yeah. I'm just looking at yesterday. There we go. See how not good I am at this. So this is yesterday, Friday. Um, I bought calls here and here we wicked up. I was like, Oh, cool calls. We wicked down again. I bought calls at the very bottom and, uh, we popped up, okay? The reason why I bought calls is because, uh, like I was showing you, um, this 200, okay? We popped in the morning with some data. I forget what it was, non-farm non -farm payroll, I believe it was. And uh, we stayed above that. So um, this was also with this BB, do I have the BB levels here somewhere? Let's see, BB, no. I thought I had BB levels system. Okay, well, I'll worry about that later. So uh, the high of day from Thursday was this here, right? About there. So now I'm looking at this, okay? I'm looking at, uh, for my, my last Friday levels, I'm looking at this touch and then those touch. Okay, and a lot of people played puts from here, okay? So, and then even in aftermarket hours, boom. So we're creating a level of resistance there or supply, you could call it. Um, look what happened here. Again, this is Friday morning. Uh, this doji here, which it means indecision, and dojis make it so that the next candle is very important. If we get more than one doji, that means even more important. Please keep giving me dojis, I love it. Um, we got this pop above. Okay, so we're looking, but look what we have here. We have another resistance level made. All right, right there. So that's what we're watching. 
I can see if there's any previous price action. Not really. So that's, oh, for him over here. So I'd be looking at here. So yeah, kind of. Okay, if we look at, um, look, boom, boom, right? All that price action even there. So sorry to zoom out, but boom. Look, we lost it here, okay? Now this is helpful with the 200, okay? When I'm looking at this. So we have all of that, okay? Now let me zoom back into Friday. Um, so I'm looking at this continuation for calls and uh, let's see if I have a good arrow here. Probably not. Yeah, I just like using the bubble. So we have this, boom. So now we have a note. Um, a lot of people got into puts right away here. I think Jordan got into puts right away. And then his target was the 200. Okay, he was like getting out right there. So um, we have this building, right? Little three bar play right here on the 200. This is the 200 EMA. We held it, boom. Okay, remember I marked this level um, as that previous day spot. Um, let me remove that for now just because I, I don't like to have a lot of drawings on my chart. So, um, and then also here, the 9 EMA, which is this, bounced off of VWAP. Okay, so it's another confirmation. Even though we wicked down, we still wicked down and held the 200. So I said we added here, okay, we added here. Um, we're above the 200 all day. We added here, it's like really easy to, to hold it. So um, these were the calls all day. I actually got out right here because this next candle was red. And I know it started like to go down and then it hammered up, but I, that was enough for me. Um, because it, uh, this was my target. Okay. So I didn't like, I missed a lot of this move, but, uh, Friday I was going light anyway. So let's go to today's price action. So we have a, the dip rip from the morning, not off the 200, but it's off of, um, VWAP here. Okay. Another little right, uh, falling wedge kind of, um, I'm not going to call it a falling wedge doesn't really matter what you call stuff as long as you know what it is so kind of like this action here all right and then let me get rid of that trend line so this little tweezer bottom thing right we added I added here oops that's not what I want to do I added there because I wanted to have to be in off of VWAP and when it um when it held VWAP or not held VWAP but crossed under I, I did one more add like right there during that body and then we went up and i got out literally at 8 30 a.m which is right here at the beginning of this candle my cell is like 8 30 like right boom as soon as i saw this next candle be red because i thought it could three bar up right just like we saw here see this three bar three bar three bar three bar oops whatever you get it so um I thought here we could three bar right there. We did not three bar. My goodness. You guys are probably getting epilepsy here. Okay. So, um, that doesn't look good either. So that was today. And I'm going to take a look at this on trading view. It's probably gonna be a little easier to, to see. So this is trading view. Um, make sure that's coming up. Yeah. So, Look at that level I have. That is yesterday's low. Man. Or Friday's low. So Friday's low and Thursday's low. I was looking at the opening dip. Look at that. I have that charted here and not on my other chart. Okay. Um, there's that level we just said. We held. What I was looking for was this. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. What I was looking for is this. This level to hold on an opening. Okay, we bounced off of it pre-market like I just explained. I was looking for that bounce. If we lost this level right here, I would have been out of my calls, period. I added here and here. Okay, that was my ad today. Um, called it out in spaces. I called it out in um, everywhere. 
the Discord, the WhatsApp group. I like zooming on here way better than TOS. So, um, maybe I can get like a rectangle. There we go. So I was looking at this here to hold. Okay. And then what happens later in the day? Boom. We lost it right here, right there. Okay. Let me remove this. I wanted to remove the drawing. Okay. So look, I, I removed all my, those are all my indicators. So Caleb's supply demand zone. I have my algo. Um, let's see where posty pivots is at. I didn't even use posty pivots today. See, now I got to fix my algo. Here we go. I don't like these trend candles right here. Trend candles hate them. See that? See how it's in a downtrend? They stay red. Okay. I don't like that. Um, it's kind of helpful now that I look at it, but yeah, I don't use it. I'm just not used to it. So inputs here, Keanu channel. Look at that. If it, if it shows what it does. Yeah. See that channel it becomes in. I don't really use that either. Um, zones. Yeah, it does a lot of zones, but I like Caleb's. Look, it kind of made that zone I drew from earlier, it looks like. So anyway, this is these are my settings. Um, and yesterday's high, yesterday's low. It has BB levels embedded. So high of the day, green, low. Pre-market low, I want to do... Let's see, I'm going to go yellow. Um, Pre-market high, let's go light blue. Or light green, rather. Let's go dark green. How about that? Yeah, so you can see it, but it's not as green as that. Permanent yesterday's high. So you don't have to do yesterday's low, yesterday's high. High a day. Yesterday's low, I'm going to go like pink. Yesterday's high, I'm going to go another green, right? All right, doesn't matter. Okay. So. I have those here, okay? Let me take off Posty because we're not working with that right now. So Caleb's zone's lined up. This is where I drew my zone, remember? I said then it lost it right here. Pre-market high right here. This is where I was looking. Pre-market high, and then I was looking for yesterday's high right there. Did it mark that? Yeah, yesterday's high, boom. Yesterday's high. If you don't want all this stuff there, you can get rid of that. And if you don't want my, if you don't have my algo or don't want it, because this is a lot of information, you can go like this. BB indicator, marks high and low pre-market, Jazz Dino. I don't even know who that is. There it is. Okay, you can customize those. I love the colors. Sometimes I turn mine off and use that. Um, there's a way to move these words over to the left. I don't know how to do it. I forgot. So look, daily high, boom, double top. Anyway, the point is, sorry, this is a long video. I don't do these a lot, so I'm not good at it. So this opening dip, I wanted to dip rip off of this, okay? So I'm looking at pre-market low and yesterday's high a day. See how it says yesterday's high? Yesterday's high. First target, pre-market high. Okay, that's the first target. We had no no red candles though. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So after these red candles, we had one, two, three, four, five, um, six. No, five. And they're losing, see this body? Long body. The bodies are getting shorter. So this is some chop here. Um, and then we had this... How do I get my EMAs on here? Here we go. EMAs, probably have to fix these. 9, 21, 200. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so, right here, we're talking with Jordan. I said we're flagging into, look, I can't, ugh, TOS does that better. Flagging into the nine, okay, this blue. We're flagging into it. Boom, boom. Apple was already up here. Apple was was flying, and Spy was lagging. Uh, spy, Spy was lagging. Apple, excuse me. So, got into calls here. Boom, went up. Now, first target is the top of where we rejected before. Okay, it's not that one. Top of where we rejected before, just here. Okay. We rejected, rejected, wicked up, rejected. We're still flagging though, right? This would be your first target area right here. Okay. 
So let me draw a horizontal line, boom, about right here, right? That moves it, oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, so that's where you want your line to be, something like that, because this is created. See, Caleb's zone is way up here, but we're, we're getting off sooner, okay? So that's our first target here. And look at the price action later in the day off of this level, okay? I'm talking about here. Look, boom, bear flag. See this bear flag on this trend? But we still bounced up. You could have scalped that to Caleb's zone. It would have been the first target, okay? Just like it was the first target here. Then we lose this level, right? We're knocking on this door once, twice, kind of hold it. Third time, we take it away, okay? And lose this level. Where does it go? Caleb's next zone. Check that out. So, kind of cool how that worked. Um, this price action today was very easy. Um, this double top right here is like killer. And does, is there a bubble? Like TOS? No. Circle? Let's see if I can do a circle. No. It's not, I don't like that. Anyway, so yeah, right there and right there. I just use this arrow. Maybe there's a better way. Champ. Champion vibe is going to laugh at me. So we go boom, boom. Could not clear this. Okay. I don't even have my volume up here. Um, I, I, I watch volume on TOS, although I do have my volume up here. Did you guys see me clear the indicators? So I got rid of my volume. Let's see. Volume. There we go. So let's look at the volume. Uh, okay. So here, volume's kind of rising here. See volume pulls off right here at 8.20 a.m. Volume pulls off. Volume cannot bust a level. With, uh, price cannot bust a level without volume. Okay, and then we have this. The volume comes in. Okay, I'm looking at the bottom of my screen. Volume comes in to take it down. There's no volume here at all. None. And remember I said the candle bodies are getting weaker. And you also have a rising wedge. Okay, and I believe we called this out in real time. We have this. I think I could do clone. Yeah, it's still not that good. Something like this, okay? I think Zeke called this out. So let's get rid of this, right? Once we play it, it's like done. And then we have this rising wedge into this supply area, this Caleb zone. Okay, we double topped here, and then we have um, a new trend line, okay? Mm, this could go like this for the first broadening wedge play into that that line from earlier but it's kind of risky I don't want to I don't want to be Captain Hindsight like Bueller says okay so you have this something like that I'm trying to go on the bottom of these something like that okay so once we lose this level from the morning as soon as we lost, we got huge volume right there. Look, rising volume, boom, boom, boom. Rising volume from 1025, there, it took us down. Now lowering volume here into Caleb's zone, okay? Into the, look, where we wicked up and went up this morning. Lowering volume into that zone. That means you, you kind of know that you're not going to bust through on this lowering volume right here. Right, see that lowering volume there? Um, if this would have been rising volume to here, or if this candle body would have been like that, maybe you bust through, okay? And you can definitely go through on lowering, but it's just really hard to predict. Um, let's see if this has any price ramifications. Eh, kinda, right? Once we bull trap up, right? Kinda write it down. Curious if tomorrow this line will have anything, but Anyway, um, so I just wanted to, uh, I think I just, like I said, I don't do these a ton just because Bueller is so good at it and these other guys are so amazing at it, but um, this is what I have. I'm just going to remove drawings for today. Um, we'll see what the zones bring for tomorrow. There is no changes to the zone, so they will appear there. We could bust up and do the same thing. We could chop all day. You never know. So, um Love you guys. Appreciate it. Hopefully I'll do more of these. And uh, man, let's build everybody up. Let's win together. A lot of people are new at this. And people that aren't new at it, they need to be rejuvenated and renewed. So 
Um, yeah, love you guys. Bye.